The Real Estate Council of Greater Fort Worth is pleased to present its 2020-2021 annual report. So many words have already been overused to describe the past year. So rather than talk about how challenging, unprecedented, or unpredictable it was, we're going to keep the focus where we have all year, on the meaningful ways we have continued to serve our members and community. Our most important goal as an organization is to provide value to those we serve by focusing on all things local. And that's exactly what we did this past year. So much was canceled due to the pandemic, but the Real Estate Council managed to stay at the forefront of important issues by moving quickly to online meetings and by creating a new education series called Real Conversations, which connected members, the medical community, local businesses, the tourism industry, development experts, and more. The winter looked promising for an in-person forecast event, but even that was moved successfully online. The 2021 forecast went virtual as we broadcasted live from the Fort Worth Convention Center. The only event we actually canceled was the annual Poker Run fundraiser, and our membership made up for that by encouraging 79 new members to join the Real Estate Council of Greater Fort Worth. The Real Estate Council conducted its biannual Fort Worth Voter Survey in January of 2021. We shared the survey results and insights with elected officials and other organizations to help them plan and strategize on key issues, including development, transportation, education, and housing. This voter survey gives us and the community an integral look into where we should be headed. Throughout the past year, Real Estate Council continued to invest locally by supporting the Tarrant Transit Alliance, the DASH, and other entities with financial contributions to help move these critical programs forward. Real Estate Council is committed to developing young leaders, and our Young Leaders Council remained active this past year. Our young leaders helped raise $20,000 in total for Reed Fort Worth, impacting kids in our community through books and classrooms. They raised $10,000 when the annual dodgeball tournament morphed into a scavenger hunt and trivia night. And with the event being held on North Texas Giving Day, they helped up the total raised to 20 grand. The young leaders participating in our annual Panther Den got to work on design charrettes, focusing on land in Arlington and even had Mayor Williams as one of the judges. The Public Affairs Committee has been hard at work on various issues affecting development including working on a TRWD ordinance and partnering with the city on stormwater fees and the permitting process. During this election cycle, the Public Affairs Committee raised $15,000 and interviewed numerous candidates running for city council and mayor. In the summer of 2020, following the murder of George Floyd, we started a new Community Affairs Committee. Drew Kyle, with Institutional Property Advisors, agreed to chair this committee, and they have met weekly since that time. Through these meetings, they have developed a forum called Creating Connections, Growing Business to help foster the development of connections between small emerging development-related minority-owned businesses and members of the Black Chamber and bankers, developers, and prime contractors. This committee is doing big things. The best part of where we are at the end of our 2020-2021 year is that the Real Estate Council of Greater Fort Worth remains in a unique position to influence the growth and development of the Greater Fort Worth area. Many of you have heard our chairman say that this organization is one of the most positive in Tarrant County. The members and leaders who work on behalf of commercial real estate and the Real Estate Council get things done, make lasting impacts, and do it in a way that is positive and helps all involved. Thank you to our annual meeting sponsors, our year-long premier sponsors, and to all of our members.